Hello. Um, in our previous uh, project, we built this together. Um, so this is the the front end of the blog. So we can uh, write comments. Uh, we could see the comments written here. We have um, contact page. You could fill in a form about us page, and we have an admin system that we built together. So this is just a quick recap on what we've done. So we have articles. We could um, create a new article or a post. We have comments here. We have um, commenters, etc. Okay, so if you didn't do this with us, um, no worries. You can still um, follow this lesson. Just go to my GitHub, uh, Kingsley-Jama, and go on to uh, my profile and click on Learn HTML CSS. And you can um, go into Bootstrap blog folder. Okay, so you can use this if you know what you're doing or you could click on download zip and unzip this uh, folder so that will give you access to this file so we're using a ruby programming language so we are going to reference this documentation from time to time uh, this is what ruby looks like this is a class with some methods and so on we are going to study it in more detail so this is um our rails documentation site uh, if we go on to Rails Guide, we are building a Rails application. So this is where we will come and learn um, about models, views, controllers, and things like that. All right, so to get started, uh, we need to install Rails. So go on to railsinstall.com, um, uh, installrails.com, uh, click on Start Now. So you could choose uh, Mac, uh, Windows, or other. So that's Linux and so on. So if you click on Mac, you can follow the instructions. Um, it's pretty straightforward. If you click on one of these um, versions, it shows you what to do. So you can just follow these instructions and click on Next Step, etc. Uh, this is different for Windows users. So for Windows users, you want to click on Windows, obviously, and follow the, follow the instructions. Uh, remember, there's a slight detour. You have to go to this page and then download and come back onto this site and carry on with the instructions. Right, so um, the next thing is uh, Sublime. So if you haven't got Sublime, you need to download Sublime. So this is a text editor that we are using in this project. And the next thing, uh, we need uh, MySQL Workbench. I've typed, I've searched Microsoft Workbench and um, just click the first one. So uh, when you come to the download page, come down here and select one, the system that meets yours and click on download. So we need this to model our database. All right, and then the last thing we need um, is SQLite Studio. So just type this in Google and go with the first one that comes up. So SQLite, um, we need this to view our database records. So click on download and select um, your system from here. So install this and we'll come back to it um, very soon. All right, so when, um, when that's all done, I um, want to open up Terminal. And by the way, when I said Terminal for Windows, if we go back in here, um, I'm referring to something slightly different. It's um, git bash, it's a command line interface. So if you come here and go next, join your installation, you, you have access to this. So this is git bash, it's a command line. So when I say Terminal for, for Mac users, that's what I mean. So to get that on your Mac machine, so click on Command, Tab, and then type in Terminal and Enter. Okay, So that's Command and Spacebar, and then Terminal. All right, so um, let's minimize all this. So the first thing I did was to go into my Projects folder, which is in, on a desktop, and I made a folder called Rails Blog. So you can do the same. Once we've done that, we uh, go into our terminal, 
command line, say cd uh, tilde uh, forward slash desktop, and then in there we'll go type in project and then type if you type partial type rails and then tab and it completes for you. So seed into that. All right, so this is where we um, end uh, this lesson um, on setup and we'll carry on in the next lesson. So I'll see you there.